All right, something else that you it's it's good to have if you get a camera is a remote control like this one. Um, this one works for either camera that I have. Uh, the one uh, wherever did I put it? The one that I have up here for my document shots where I'm coming down this way, it works there. I can zoom in or zoom out. I can turn it on, turn it off, and it also works with this camera. They're both JVC, so it does work very nicely. Um, it's just nice to have a remote and it's it looks a lot more professional a lot of videos on YouTube you'll see the guy leaning forward and you see his arm like this at the beginning and then he talks sits back and he talks for a while and at the, at the end reaches forward and shuts it off well you can still get your point across but it doesn't look very professional so remote control is a very good idea and um, I guess I'll show you now how to edit some of the video, what I do after I shoot the video, and where to go from there. All right, now I'm up here at the computer, and uh, basically I have here my camera, and I have plugged into the back in the USB port. It comes up here and plugs into the computer. Okay, I don't have a firewire attachment with these JVC cameras. They don't they don't have that ability and uh, one of the reasons too by the way I want to say this quick here one of the reasons I use a hard hard disk drive type is simply because you can record hours and hours and hours of video you don't have to worry about the tape running out and uh, if you make any kind of mistakes it's very easy to delete it and just go back and record some more Basically, you have two options there, playback on PC or backup. I'll select backup, and then it's, it's connecting to the computer. Oops. Okay, open folder to view files. I don't know how much of this is going to show up. But basically, you have three folders here. SD video is the third one you double click that the PRG07 and then it should be this one so I just right click it and send to documents and this little thing comes up here and tells you that it's sending to my documents I'll let that upload Okay, that's done. So then I'll close that. And now I'm going to plug in the other camera that I have and I'll show you then where we go from that where we go from there. All right, now um, that I have all the different video files downloaded from the d three different cameras here, you want to go here to Vegas Movie Studio and double click that. And then that'll open it up. Okay, now you want to go here to, let me zoom in, import media, this little icon right here. Double click it, and that will bring up the My Documents. And you want to basically just go down through there and find all of your uh, all of your different video files. So I'll import those quick here, and then I'll go on to the next step. Okay, you can see it's importing the different videos. Now, of course, you want to go to the very first one which would be this one for me and you want to click it and drag it up onto the timeline video and voice I'd actually draw, draw it uh, yeah it pulled all of them up actually because I had them all selected which is fine um, but I'm going to need to move some of those around you can move these video clips all around it doesn't matter 
move them wherever you need to. Okay, now down here is this screen which you can see and uh, basically what you want to do is when you get your video your this is the raw video up here that you just shot and you can push let me zoom in here a little bit there are two play buttons there this one with the little line in front of it plays from the very beginning and this this one plays from wherever your markers at in other words it would play from wherever your click there on the timeline and so you can see that's the beginning of the video there now there's a lot of stuff that you can do you can uh, lighten it up if you want to um, this if you go to the end of the video track okay if you go here to the end of the video track you can see this little button here the event FX you can click on that and there's a, a lot of things you can do change the collars around and and uh, different things there this here is the event pan and crop you can zoom in on different parts of the video there uh, again, I'm not going to get into all of this it's just things that you're gonna have to learn uh, now if you want let me go here to the beginning of the timeline if you want the video to start out with a fade uh, instead of just coming right on then what you can do is you see that how you go up here to this upper corner and you click the left button on your mouse and you hold it in and then you can move it like this to whatever amount of fade that you want and uh, I'll show you quick here what that looks like let me zoom back out a little bit okay here you have the beginning without fade okay and now I'm going to put a little bit of fade there at the beginning and you'll see what the difference is see it's right. just looks a lot better the very nice thing about Sony Vegas is uh, if you want to edit your videos in it you can if you see something like this um, if you're just gonna have... and you want to cut it out you just go to the area where you want to cut it out and you just okay I need to show that don't I you select the part of your video that you want to cut out and then you actually just come and you push the S button and that splits the video and then you can see so you can move it and if you want to cut out this portion here you just hit the S button again and then you right click here go down to delete and it's gone so you can do that with a lot of different things and if you you know you think oh no I didn't want to do that well then you just come up here right to that button right there and you hit undo and it will take everything right back there so you have your video that you deleted you have it right back no problem okay now when you have everything finished your whole video complete and you for YouTube you have to keep your videos at 11 minutes or less okay so when you have everything done then you can come in here go to the very end and you click right at the very end of the video and then you come up above there and you left click and you hold it in and you just go the whole way just drag it the whole way to the very beginning until you're at the very end like that okay and then you go up here to file render as and then okay it opened up my sermons uh, thing here but I'll go to my videos you have to pick the file that you want to, to save in and um, I usually go down to this one my YouTube videos and uh, then you have to pick here make sure it's not on mp3 or something and you want to pick um, the WMV and you can see that's the format that I have my other videos in uh, the, the default template is fine and then you push save and that will basically render the video 
and after that's done then you'll have a file here that you can go to YouTube and you go into the, open this file up and you can basically just download right pick your file and YouTube will download it and put it on your channel so that's basically it